Hi everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Kamal Kumar Patel. I am a software engineer. In this video, we will see how to import live data from an external data source into our Excel file. So that external data source may be a website or an external data file. So what we have to do, we have to make a connection between our Excel file and the data source and import the, import the data so that as soon as the data changes in the data source, it will automatically be reflected in our Excel sheet. So we don't have to manually every time copy the data and paste it on the Excel sheet. This is a blank Excel sheet where we will be importing the data and this is a website which contains a data, data table and this data table contains different countries and the current uh, time of those countries. So we will be importing this data into our Excel sheet. So first we need to make a connection between uh, this data source and uh, this Excel sheet. So for that what we have to do, we have to go to this data tab and here in this group get and transform data, there is a command from with. So because our external data source is a website, we will select this from web. It will open this and there are two options, basic and advanced. In this video, we will see the basic things. So it is asking for the URL of the website. So we will copy this URL and paste it here and click on OK. It will take some time. So this is the navigator, this is the URL of that website and in the second option you can see uh, the table is there. So here in the right side you, uh, you can see there are two, uh, two uh, views, table view and web view. Okay, both are basically same. So uh, this is the table which we want to import into our Excel sheet and below there are buttons, load, transform data and cancel. So load is basically to load uh, the data into our Excel sheet, transform data, uh, let's check it out. So it will open this table and these are the data. So let's say out of these three columns, I need only the first two columns and I don't need this third column. So what I'll do, I'll select this third column and just right click and remove this. Okay, so now only these two columns will be imported. So once everything is done, we can just click on this close and load. So the data will be loaded into this Excel sheet. So now this is getting loaded. So these are my data. The data has been imported from this website into our Excel sheet and there is a connection between these two. So now to refresh this data, now to get the latest data from the data source, uh, there is this option refresh. So these are different countries and the current time of those countries. So let's check for India. So let's filter out. Let's search India and select only India and click on OK. Okay, so in India, the current time is 107 uh, IST, 107 PM IST. If we wait for some time and click on the refresh, uh, it will give us the latest data. So let's click on this refresh command. Yeah, and the data is refreshed now and now the time is 108 IST. There are different refresh options. Just click here and click on this connection properties. So here uh, we have this refresh control where there are different refresh options. So first option is, is uh, enable background refresh which is checked. The second option is refresh every 60 minutes. So by default, this is 60 minutes. So just select this and we can change the time. Let's say just give one minute. Okay. There you also the third option is there refresh data when opening the file. So once you open the file that you will get the latest data. So for now, I'm not selecting this and click on. Okay. So let's wait for one minute and this will automatically be changed. So after one minute, See, it is loading the new data and we can see it is changed to 109. So this is how you can import live data from a website into your Excel sheet. It will automatically be refreshed and it will be updated in your Excel sheet. So just to add on to this, I would like to show one more feature. Uh, we will be importing the data from any external data file. Okay, so just go to another sheet and click on this data tab and now we will select from text or csv because now our external data source is a data file so click here and we need to browse to that file which we need to import so this is the file location where my data is there and i would like to import this data into my excel sheet so this might be any network drive or any folder path okay so this is my file this is a text file okay i'll double click and this will be loaded so let's open that file so this is the file and this is a notepad, this is a text file which contains all this data. 
zero zero one zero zero two up to zero zero five in new lines. So again, we have uh, these three buttons: load, transform data, and cancel. If we click on load, it will be loaded into our Excel sheet. If we want to change something in this, we have to click on this transform data. So this is a table, and uh, let's say I want to change this column name. So what I'll do? I'll rename this column. Let's say my data. Enter. And now we are good to go. We'll click on this close and load. So it will be loaded into my Excel sheet. Okay. So this has been loaded. And similarly, uh, these are the refresh options. We'll select this connection properties, and it will open this. We have the same refresh options. Let's make some changes in the text file. Let me add one more row here. That is zero zero six and zero zero seven, and save it. And if we come back to the Excel sheet and refresh it, the new data will be loaded into the Excel sheet. So this is how you can import a. Uh, data from different external sources into your excel sheet all right so that's all for this video i hope this video helps you wish you all the very best thank you so much for watching